okay guys on september 8 2023 now you can see that this is my plant of havardia attenuata you can also call it as the green zebra plant although it has some shade like uh, the original zebra okay but they are very small okay the white pages are spots now you can see that we have a lot of baby plants on the side of this mother plant so we will try to take them out and we can see that we have a very good a very very good baby plant okay and it has a lot a lot of roots and they used to be of like seven months old okay so they because their growing rate is very slow and this one is without roots okay but we we, we still uh, we will try this with the propagation okay Okay, now we will take this baby as well and you can see it is very much closely attached with the mother plant and now it also has some roots okay and now some more okay and now this baby is a little bit big we will try to take it out like this and it also has some roots okay some very good mature developed roots and this one is without roots but still we will try to propagate it this one and th these two are very small okay this one is also very small but still we will try it okay now we will let them dry for uh, some days okay like two to three days minimum and then we will plant them out in the soil and simple sand media okay guys on september 19 2023 now some days have been passed and we have taken our media and now i'm just showing you with my forcep that how sandy our media is okay uh, it contains 50 percent sand and 50 percent simple garden soil this is uh, the the tool which i am using is actually the sponge forcep you can use it uh, for the gardening okay now we are watering our pots and you must have to make some holes in the bottom of all the pots for extra water drainage now you can see that how much the water is coming down okay how fast how fast it is okay okay so now I'm just labeling my media so that we can properly fix our baby plants here in the uh, what's called as the in the pots okay so now I will make certain holes with my sponge forcep and this is my plant with which is having very much developed roots so now I will try to yes like this and we we have to use our hand and forceps okay now like this and this so that at least our roots will be inside the media because roots must not be on the media they, they must be inside the media for for a healthy plant growth okay so now we will we have placed our first baby plant now we will take the second one insert it out the third one like this okay wait let me move it like this okay and what about the fourth one okay. 
like this okay and they are very hardy plant okay they do not use to die like uh, like other succulents okay aloes and horthyopsis they all are very much strong okay they are like die hard strong now this one and i'm just putting it in the media now i will try to introduce some sort of like uh, my self-made equipments in my videos like uh, some humidity testers okay and uh, fertilizer tester and all sort of these things because, because i used to develop all sort of these things now now these all are my six cuttings okay six baby plants now first uh, for seven days we will keep them in shade and then we will put them in the sun so that they will get at least some sun okay on november 12 2023 like after a lot a lot of days has been passed and we can see that there is a little bit a little bit growth on the in the plant and i have and i have gifted two of the plants to my friends okay and uh, these four plants are now there now we will see that either they are established yes they are a little bit established and this plant this baby plant is actually without roots and now we can see that it has developed some sort of roots now what about this one okay we can see that some algae also uh, some moss also used to grow and now i think that this is i'm not sure that either this plant is without roots or not but still it has now established a very well root bowl now we will go for our next one this one and here its roots looks very healthy and also on the shooting side it has some progress okay now again see that how much healthy the roots are and now they are on the way towards growth okay so hopefully you got the concept that how you can grow the yellow attenuator or the attenuator or zebra plant with the help of baby plants so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe